Hello, in this lecture we are going to install our WordPress application. To install our WordPress application, we are going to launch an EC2 instance in the public subnet. Then we are going to SSH into that instance and manually install our WordPress. Then once we are done with that, we are going to transfer our WordPress application code to our file system. Let's see how we can do that in the management console. In the management console, under services, I'm going to select EC2 under compute. The first thing we want to do is create an SSH security group. And that SSH security group will allow us to be able to SSH into our EC2 instance. On the left side, come down to network and security, select security group. We are going to create a new security group and we'll give it a name. I'll call it SSH security group and I'll give it a description. On that VPC, I'll select the drop down and put it in my demo VPC. I'm going to add a rule. For type, I'm going to click on the drop down. It is going to be SSH. And normally, the source of your SSH should be limited to your IP address. But for this example, I'm going to put it at anywhere, just on IPv4. And I'm going to scroll down and click Create Security Group. I'm also going to update the security group for my web server and my EFS to accept SSH traffic from this SSH security group we just created. So under security groups, I'm going to select my EFS security group. Then I'm going to click on edit inbound rule. I'm going to add a new rule. It's going to be SSH. And the source is going to be my SSH security group. I'm going to click save rule. I'm also going to edit the rule for my web server, my web server security group. Again, I'll click edit inbound rule. I'm going to add a new rule. It's going to be SSH. And the source is going to be my SSH security group. And click save rules. Now that we have updated our security groups, we can now launch our EC2 instance in the public subnet. I'm going to click on the EC2 dashboard, launch instance, and click launch instance again. I'm going to select Amazon Linux AMI. It's going to be a T2 micro. Click next to configure instance. I'm going to put it in the right VPC. Then I'm going to change my subnet and I'm going to put it in the public subnet 1 US East 1A. I'm going to click next to add storage. Click next to add tag. Going to give it a name. I'll call it setup server. I'm going to click next to add security groups. I'll select my existing security group. On that security group, first I'm going to select the application load balancer security group because we want this EC2 to have access to the internet. Then I'll select the SSH security group and the web server security group. I'm going to click next to review and launch. Make sure everything is okay. And launch this EC2 instance. I'm going to select my key pair, accept and launch instance. I'm going to view my instance. And once this instance has passed the status check, we are going to SSH into it and install our WordPress application. The EC2 instance is now running. I'm going to click on it. And I'm just going to click on this to show the IPv4 address. My public IP address is here. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to use PODI to SSH into my EC2 instance. If you are using Mac, the instruction is slightly different. Then on that SSH, I'm going to click on this drop down, select up, browse, and add my key pair. Click open. Then I'm going to increase the appearance and the font so you can see it. Then on that session, we are going to type ec2-user at this public IPv4 address we copied. Once you've typed it, click open. 
and select yes we have now SSH into our IC2 instance now all we need to do is run this code and I'm going to put this code in the description for time's sake I'm not going to explain what each code is doing but if you need to know what each code is doing please leave a comment and I'll definitely get back to you the first command we are going to run is sudo su going to copy that command paste it in there press enter then the next command is to make a directory to copy that command paste it in here press enter for this third command we need to modify it let me zoom in so this part of the code we need to update it with the one from our EFS I'm going to minimize it let me move down this a little bit right click on service open a new tab then I'm going to go to my EFS I'm going to select my EFS name click attach and the code is right here I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go back to my notepad let me maximize it I'll paste that code in here but when you paste it delete the EFS at the end because we are mounting our EFS to this directory the var .html directory so delete the EFS and make sure there's a space between the first code and the second code and once you have that copy the entire code I'm going to minimize again open my party session paste that code in there and press enter and it has now mount our file system to our EC2 instance next we are going to copy all this command I think I was saying code earlier but I meant command sorry copy this command and paste them in here and it's going to run all those commands for you and that command is done running next we are going to copy this command as well and this is the command to download WordPress file on zip it and move those files to the var.html directory I'm going to paste it in there I'll press enter and now it is copying the WordPress file to the var.html directory let's wait for the shell prompt to be available then we are going to paste in our next command the shell prompt is available I'm going to paste the next command press enter and lastly we are going to paste this command press enter and once you paste this command the nano is a way to open a file on your Linux instance and we have just opened that file the file we open is the wp-config.php file and in here we want to update our database information so that our web server can connect to the RDS database we launched so I'm going to go all the way down click the drop down arrow to go all the way down then scroll all the way to this side delete the database name and we are going to update it with the database name for our RDS I'm going to paste my RDS database name there and I'll go down and delete the username and update it with the username of my RDS instance paste it then I'll go down again I'm going to update the password paste my password in there and go down one more for the host name the host name we are not hosting our database locally we are hosting our database on an RDS instance so we are going to update our host name with our RDS endpoint go back to the AWS management console on that service I'm just going to select my RDS instance go into your RDS select the identifier name and copy this endpoint and we are going to paste it in here to paste it all I'm doing is right click to paste it and once you have all that information in press Control X then press Y 
and press enter. And now let's go to our EC2 console. If we copy the DNS information for our EC2, we should be able to access our WordPress site. So I'll copy that DNS name, paste it in here and press enter. And there you go. We have our WordPress. We can fill our WordPress information and click install WordPress. I'm going to give my site a name. I call it AWS Notes Lab. I give it a username. And I'll create a password. I'm going to confirm that it is a weak password. And I'll add my email. And I'll click this checkbox. And install WordPress. It has now installed our WordPress. We can log in. And put in my username and log in. And this is how you install WordPress on your EC2 instance and transfer the file to your file system. Don't terminate this EC2 instance yet. In the next lecture, we are going to be creating our application load balancer and connecting it to our WordPress application. Then once we do that, then we can now terminate this EC2 instance. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.